Welcome back to my Narnia the Let's Play. This is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. This is part 4 and this part we're doing Lantern Waste. I'm sure it's just your imagination. Maybe we should go back. Shouldn't we at least take a look around? I think Lucy should decide. I'd like you all to meet Mr. Thomas. But we can't go hiking in the snow, dressed like this. No. But I'm sure the professor wouldn't mind us using these. We're not even taking them out of the wardrobe. But that's a girl's coat. I know. So here they are, all four of the kids are now in Narnia, in the forest, which is pretty cool, I guess. Now they all believe that Lucy has been telling the truth, and there's two random wolves there just so they can annoy you, which always works when they're trying to annoy you. But yeah, we pretty much... Now, Lucy was going to decide what we we're going to do now that we we're in Narnia. So she decided that she would want also Peter, Susan and Edmund to meet Mrs. Tumnus. So that is where we're going. We're going to go over to Mr. Tumnus. And that is actually a long way. As you can see, the video is over 15 minutes long. It's not like a super long video, it's just that it's the longest um, so far. It's a pretty long level actually. It doesn't feel long when you're playing it, but in fact it is actually quite long. And they won't get out of my way. Because I'm trying to get Lucy over to that, over to the lantern. So we could get some coins, but they're all standing in the way, but they're not now. So, and it's really annoying when um, Edmund is trying to climb up on these lanterns. And all these crows keep coming and keep annoying us. I just, yeah, destroy the whole thing. That is quite annoying. And they will do it again this time when we're going to go climb up the lantern which is not good at all so yeah we're getting some coins right here because we need coins obviously because we could go but because we could buy abilities with the coins so now you have to make sure that admin has got a stick in his hand and then he can go up and get some fire on a stick now you're going to get Susan and Lucy to team up, like so, and then they're going to destroy this ice, like that. And now they can't go through here without a light to show them the way, so we're going to get Edmund to go through with the fire. And now also Peter has the fire on his deck, so it works both. Now you want to put fire on this bush, and as you can see there's some crates down there. They're explosive crates, so they will blow up like that. And then you, Susan and Edmund can team up and they can do this to make the, uh, uh, the, the rock fall down. And now you have to kill 15 wolves to move on. So you have to do that as well. Let's so make sure you do it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, you will fight these wolves for many levels to come. They're like those enemies that you fight like all the time. It's the wolves, like all the time. But it's fine though. It's not that annoying. It doesn't take that long. And I really love how Narnia actually looks with the snow. I know it's supposed to be miserable that it's snow here, but I actually like how it looks. I like how it looks without the snow as well though. But we'll make our way over here. Okay. Huh? Hold on. Ah! So 
now the whole ice cracked so they're going down here as a slide which is actually quite fun you can actually get quite a lot of stuff from here like all these ice things can be there they give you bonus shields which you have to get and there's loads of coins down here just be careful to not fall down and kill yourself because you would not want that to happen just be careful because it is quite dangerous but it's much fun much more fun if it's actually you have two player on this game and that is actually something i haven't said you can do this game in two player it's much more fun to go down here in two player is everybody okay huh? the avalanche it's cracking the ice edmund lucy one of you will have to find a safe path across the ice susan and i are too heavy hurry so now either Lucy or Edmund have to find a safe way across because Peter and Susan are too heavy as Peter says which is quite mean to Susan because I know that Peter is too heavy but that's just very mean so what we have to do is to find a safe path across the ice you see you have uh, some ice flakes to collect 23 and that is the way over You'll actually have to do that quite a lot of times throughout this game. But it's quite easy, so it's okay, I guess. And only Edmund or Lucy can do this, as I've already said. Now get the snowball to get some of these coins. Because we like coins. Get them like that, and then we're going to go over here and we're going to get something new. You have unlocked the first aid ability. Lucy can use this to heal the others when when Lucy pressed the circle button to activate her first aid ability. So this is really good. You can actually heal the others and yourself by just pressing the circle button. It's very useful. And here is something else to collect throughout the levels. Statues. And we collected 1 out of 10. So now... Apparently no one else but Edmund can get over here now So we'll just have to go in this barrel or spins in the water And then we're going to go over to the other side as we are right now And then we're going to get this tree to fall down so the others can come over come on, this way. Good job Edmund And now we can move on again to get Peter to destroy those bushes, which I always do. And then I'm just going to climb up here to get the special shield or whatever, just to get it. And I keep hiccuping, it's just annoying, but it's just great to get it. You can see that there are some arrows shooting at us from that huge ice tower, as it looks like. So we're going to destroy the eyes, get the eyes away, so we can see, so we can see what we have to deal with over here. And there's also some wolves here as well, which is always interesting. And there you can see that there's some dwarfs in the tree. So we have to get Susan to shoot her snowballs at the fire, so it will. And a little, little, little go away and then kill these dwarves over here with their snowballs because we don't want these dwarves to be shooting arrows at us because that's dangerous but anyways make your way through here and then you can see that three dwarves are running away such pussies or, or such sissies running away from Susan and the other kids so, so, so sissies. Why can't Peter and Lucy and Edmund help us when we're doing this? They just stand there. Like nothing interesting is happening. So there's more of these statues here to collect. If you read the books or seen the movies. Or the movie, I mean. You'll know what, why there are statues here. It's pretty much because the White Witch has a spear that makes... 
everyone that she hits it with or stabs them with to eyes or statues which she always uses as a favorite thing to do so we're just going to I don't know why we do this because you can't really save them when you do that but they say that you collect the statues but you don't really do that either I don't know why we do that it's not helping the statues at all actually if you go down here the only thing you will get is a few coins not much so it's not really that big of a deal if you go down there or not it's not really worth it that worth it either so I won't do it but you can do it if you want to so there's another one of these um, um, ice lakes that Edmund and Lucy have to get over and we will do that right now I would suggest that Lucy do it this time because there are some crows that are going to come and try to kill us and hurt us so it's better if you're Lucy because she can she has the first aid so if you lose a lot of health she can just get her health back so we suggest doing it as Lucy there you can see the crows and now they are coming to hurt us which is never good and then we are going to beat her I don't know what I'm saying just talking shit that's that's what I'm doing. So we're soon over to the other side now. And here we are. On the other side. And the others have joined us. And we're going to go over here. Get through the ice and the bushes. This is, this is something I always do. Get Susan to shoot at these explosive barrels. And it will kill the dwarves. Which is quite funny actually. Because you don't kill them yourself, it's just the barrels that actually do it. Which is actually quite fun. It's not really that fun, but I think it's uh, quite fun. I just have really, really bad humour though. That's what it is. I, I bet it's that. But it's okay because it's still funny. More statues to collect. Get the coin if you want to. And then just over here is actually Mr. Tumnus' home. So we arrived at Mr. Tumnus' home. Which is great because now we're here. But as always get the statues. And that's 10 out of 10 statues. Quest completed. But we can't go in there yet because there are some wolves that are attacking us. 20 wolves to kill. So you just have to kill them all before you can move on. Easy as pie. And I would suggest Peter to kill them because he's the strongest one of them all. Yeah, he's the strongest one of the children. And he kills other wolves really easy. With a stick, he just kills the wolves in two goes. Like two hits, he kills them. Which is quite useful, but the others have to do it a little bit more. Four more wolves, and now we'll go into a cutscene. Lots and lots of lovely food, and we'll have lots and lots of food. Hello? Lucy! Do something like this. Fawn Tumnus is hereby charged with high treason against her Imperial Majesty, Jadis, Queen of Narnia, for comforting her enemies and fraternizing with humans. Signed Morgrim, Captain of the Secret Police. Don't worry, Lou, we'll think of something. So now the White Witch has taken Mr. Tomnus, which is not good at all. We will find out more about that in the next part, when we're going to do another level. It's level 5. 
so we're going to see what grade or rating we get on this level hope it's good as always i hope like not the great good but it's very uh, it's very good that's great so we're going to buy the wolf bane and lion sleep for peter which is just some abilities like attacking abilities you have to press the buttons to do it and then we're going to buy nothing more so see you in the next part